Live. Well, not really live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Dialord's Sweet Look Tactics. It is Tuesday night. We got a big... No, it is Wednesday night. We got a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow kicks off the month-long collaboration event, and we've got our first round of patch notes for the first two weeks of said event. So, let's go right to it. Right? We're just going to go straight into it because there's a lot to discuss. So, this goes live tomorrow morning early early tomorrow morning september 28th so blah 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 donkey blah <laughs> 500 diamonds okay so the servers are going down at whatever time it's gonna be down for a couple hours um as they uh, push the patch so what are we getting what are we getting let's get to the goodies so new faction Time Traveler. So this is going to be all the heroes that we get from Ghost in a Shell 2045. They're going to have the Time Traveler class tag. Or, no, faction tag. Interesting, I guess. Yes, they are all separate factions. So Time Travelers. Now, I don't know if we can have more. There, You know, we're, we're getting four. Maybe in the future we'll get some more. So number one, you can use Wenfear Atlas and Terran Gene forms to evolve time traveler heroes okay what does that mean exactly so you can use triple s like not triple s you can use gene hybrids your standard gene hybrids they use to level up a hero but when they talk about gene forms they're talking about these right here see these blue balls these light blue balls not like deep blue balls you know those ones those ones hurt but um these light blue balls a little bit less painful uh, so you see that the, this is a gen fear uh, when fear gene form and This is basically a substitute for food So you use a copy and then you you plug it in with some food you get an evolution Then you do a copy food copy food copy food copy food copy and so on and so on so on these you use instead of uh, Food right you can uh, you should all have a good little supply of these light blue balls in your inventory and you can use any of these across any of these four heroes to in place of food uh food heroes or food units okay i don't know why i had to, that was so difficult well because there are no time traveler gene forms or there's no time traveler fodder or food he units to use as food so they got to give us away and you know that's good because that's something i would have I would have went, woke up tomorrow morning and went, oh, wait, yeah, how do I, oh, okay. That's what I got to do, just light blue balls. Number two, you can dispatch time traveler heroes to finish all the missions in the outpost. Well, I would really hope so, because if I can't use them outside of the collab event, they are pretty useless. But fear not, you can use them anywhere. Just treat these heroes as if they're just native, new triple S heroes coming into the game. So the new heroes, we're getting uh, the Major. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. So Triple S, Time Traveler Assassin, who teleports, causes high crit damage to surrounding enemies. So it sounds like she AoEs. Uh, she's immune to crowd control effects. So that's good because Summoners, which are the natural counter, they have a lot of crowd control effects. So she is immune to that. So that is going to make them a little bit better against Summoners. But... I think that summoners should remain the natural counter to assassins. They shouldn't buff them too much to that counter. So she also gains a shield when the enemy casts when the enemy casts ultimate skills and steal the enemy hero's energy when releasing skills. Oh, well that's that's really that's really cool. So she's going to gain a shield when they cast an ultimate. That's going to be a lot. That's a lot of shield. And then she's going to just, re re just like res, she's going to strip some of their energy when she does a skill. She sounds OP. She sounds a little OP. Her excess crit rate will be converted into crit damage. Now, other than just stopping a Marauder set on her and a Sun Signet set, and just, so I guess in this way, you can just go all crits, not worry about overcap. 
because that overcap is converted to crit damage, right? So makes her a little bit more flexible to gear. During the collaboration event, uh, her energy recovery speed is also increased. So that is only in whatever the collaboration event is. She's going to get more ultimates as her energy regenerates a lot faster. Now, the second hero we're getting, so we're getting two new heroes tomorrow. We're getting the Major and Bato. Bato? Bato. I'm going to say Bato. So he's the Triple uh, S level Vanguard who can charge to a selected location. Charge is a Vanguard mechanic. That's. You know, typical work with the charge set, work with Hagridon. Fire a rocket towards the area with the most enemies and stun them. Guaranteed that's going to be based off of accuracy. But that's an AoE stun. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I like that. I like that. Because uh, Vanguards already have a lot of stuns in their kits. Um, so more stuns equals more fun. <laughs> we'll see if it works though. Uh, he can also enter a state of invincibility. Very good. That tells me he's going to be squishy if you don't want him to get hit. Uh, making him unable to be the target of enemy attacks or skills. Yes, kind of like Dominic. When he is attacked by an enemy, oh, he will restore HP. And upon receiving fatal damage, he'll be immune to death. So that tells me you just stack him with huge amounts of HP and probably accuracy for his stun. And then every time you hit him, he regens health. I do believe there are other heroes like this already in game. I can't, I can't think of which one it is, but there is a hero that regenerates health on hit. Is it Barag? I thought I think it's one of the other vanguards. It might be Barag. So we don't know if he's a rage or a uh, energy ultimate type hero. Doesn't say on here, but I guess we'll find out in about twelve hours. So those are the two new heroes coming to the game. Uh, these are the events. So this is the all the we've been clamoring for. This is what all the hype has been up for or been for. Here it is, right here. Okay, let's dive in. Let's dive in. Let's go. Okay, so a new collaboration recruitment event will open on all servers. It's telling me they want even someone that's in server two or week two to be able to do this, which is good. You don't want people starting up an account tomorrow. And not being able to do the collaboration event. That would be uh, a colossal failure. So it's good that it is open on all servers. During the event, you can recruit Matoko, the Major, Bato, and then Serena and Taylor and Artis are the elites. Uh, Serena, Taylor, and Artis are all excellent, excellent beginner heroes. So you can tell that this is really uh, built with new players coming into the game just starting the, just starting the game because i just went through four weeks of the beginner experience and serena taylor and artists are key absolute key heroes to everything in those first four weeks so one thing i got to draw your attention to ladies and gentlemen is you notice how it says a new collab recruitment event whereas right underneath this when it's talking about the complimentary banner a new limited recruitment event will open on some servers so since this says collab, usually that indicates that it is a separate type of currency. Now, I, I did a video yesterday where I think one of the mods on the official, in the official EE Discord said that we can use limited cards on this collab recruitment banner, but that you can also use these collab recruitment tickets. So we know we're getting some currency to spend. So. If you don't want tomorrow you wake up and there's no easy way to get this collab recruitment currency right away, just hold tight. Um, I don't know. Or spend your limited if you want to just buy a bunch of limited. I'm, I'm sure they're just banking on people buying limiteds tomorrow just to get everything within two hours. And then they got all the good shinies, right? But I do believe that they're going to give you over the next two weeks ways to get the currency to pull on this banner because they want you to have these heroes. <clears throat> So when you notice also, it's the Major and Bato. So that makes me wonder who the Pity is. Can we select the Pity? Like a wishlist banner between the two? Or is it just random? Because yesterday, the information that I had was that it was a 50-50 banner. Meaning, I, I interpret that as you have a 50% chance to get either or the Major or Bato. We'll see. You know, I want the Major, but 
probably all going to get bought to, but we'll we'll check the rates tomorrow. So that is that is the things you have to know about this banner specifically. Couple th two different types of currency you can probably spend on it, and it's 50-50, it's a chance which of the time travelers you're going to get. So the the other complimentary banner which is the limited recruitment event uh, which is open on some servers. So if you're in the first two weeks, you will not see this banner. Um, so new players coming into the game will not see this banner. But it is Rhyzeris, Nafeng, and Botmark 2. Now, Nafeng and Botmark 2 are also really good starter beginner heroes. So if, if new players come into the game and we have... Say we get a lot of currency um, throughout this event... A lot of limited tickets. Maybe they could pull on this banner too and get some heroes as well. Don't know. We'll find out. But that is the seven-week complimentary banner. Uh, Rosaris. I love seeing Rosaris here because I have her at Immortal 5, which means I don't got to worry about pulling one ticket on here. I can just go all in on the recruitment, collab recruitment banner. Uh, a new Star Echo. A new event, Star Echo, will open on all servers. Again, all servers. Day one. During the event, you'll receive the corresponding rewards by recruiting a certain number of times in the designated collab recruitment banner. So you're only going to get credit for this event by pulling on the collab recruitment banner, not the limited recruitment banner. What this event is, it's very, very clear. It is the Mirror of Reformation, just with a different name. Right? So instead of normally, we would get the Mirror of Reformation, which is the one with the Caraxia big hero picture on the side this is exactly that this isn't a new event and it's funny that they call it event because it, it it's not really it's just what you get for pulling your tickets they're calling it star echo but it is literally just a new name for the mirror of reformation event where what that is if you guys don't really recall it's you pull 180 limited tickets on a banner and then it has to be on the main banner and you get an extra copy of the new hero. That's what we've had for the last four months. This is just that with a different name. It's just a, a, a copy paste. The main re rewards of this event are Soul Incursion, SSS hero card of your choice. So I guarantee that is going to be the one at 180. So you're going to have to pull 180 on that banner in order to get this card, which lets you pick either another copy of Bato or the Major. So if you pull 180, you get three copies of Bato, and you're like, damn, I really want the Major. This card, which is probably going to be a 180, will let you choose to get the Major. So I usually pull to 180 on these events. I might pull more because I got a little bit of a, a stash of, of tickets right now. We'll see. Uh, so you'll get that. Soul Potions, Mythic Runes. Oh, Red Runes. Cool. Give me my Red Runes. Yep. Universal Crystals. Usually that's at like 240, the Universal Crystal. Uh, Gene Mutation Crystal 2. That is very juicy. That should be... That better be lower because we aren't getting Twilight Lands opening tomorrow. And normally we would all, or all of us that can clear Stage 15, or up to and including Stage 15, would have an extra Gene Mutation Crystal 2 within the first three hours of playing tomorrow. So this had better not be at like 340 because we would be getting that for free. Now, Twilight Lands is pushed back until October 12th. So we just got to wait two more weeks to get one there. But you watch, I, I, I guarantee you they're going to price that out. It's not going to be easy. The Universal Crystal, the Gene Mutation Crystal 2, we're not getting those without pulling like 320 some tickets on this bad boy. You watch. But the uh, Soul Incursion SSS Hero card, which is probably the most important, is going to be at 180. And then Astral Recruitment cards, you get those at, I think, like, what, 60, 120? I think you normally got them. You got 20 of them, I think, when you pulled up to 180 before. So that's what that event is. So it's just, we'd be getting that anyway with Mirror of Reformation. They're just calling it a new name. And they're going to they're gonna plaster it with a Ghost in the Shell collab type artwork. But the difference is this is open for the full 14 days. So that's actually kind of nice. The problem with that, though, being open for an extra week, yes, it gives us more chance to get these, these new units, but that is going to overlap with what would usually be the Giant Tower. And I'm predicting that the Giant Tower, well, it's in the schedule that it would be Ares. So 
next week, a week from tomorrow, would be the Ares Giant Tower, and I need a bunch of Ares. And pulling on that banner will not go towards the Star Echo event. So that's really the main, like, new stuff, but it's kind of old stuff. It's just SSS Heroes and a Mirror of Refor Reformation. Uh, details gathering in Gamuzo's Bell. The, it is it is their time on the schedule. It is their week. Uh, the main stuff you're getting is Paluno, Rusted Gears, Diamonds, and Mythic Runes. If you got, I say this every two weeks when we do these. This patch notes, the big one. Pull a ninety, spend ninety nine cents per day, through each each or all seven days of the Gamuzo's Bell and details gathering, and that'll get you thirty red runes and more Rusted Gears to spin on the wheel. Um, Paluno. Now, people are just going to go, oh, Paluno. Paluno sucks. But again, I think that this is really geared, or they're they're launching this whole thing with the idea that we're going to get new players into the game because they have been advertising it. And Paluno is useful right off the bat. He is. Like, on my brand new free-to-play uh, account, I do use Paluno. So he is useful. You, pair, you put him with Falvia on energy team, and you can make an energy team. So he's he's not garbage for beginner accounts, but he quickly falls off uh, around mid game to end game. Uh, that one's in, and this is a seven day event, of course. Details gathering Gamuzo's Bell have always been just week long events. So uh, of course the uh, Gamuzo's Bell, it's going to be Rhyzeris, a Gene Hybrid, which I like. Uh, this makes sense because usually it's the new hero and the off banner hero. So, of course, they're not going to put one of the Time Travelers on here, right? They want you to spend on the uh, Time Traveler banner, whatever that's called. Uh, and then Fifth Element. Uh, fifth Element is just kind of meh, really. It's an attack speed one, but it works with Hunters, Assassins. I think it works with Vanguards, too. Uh, so, you never know. It is an attack speed-based uh, red prototype. Um, I'm interested in it. I'm interested in it. You know, it could do things. I just haven't really found a place for it just right now. All right, so Gamuzo's Bell and Details Gathering, seven days. Biggest thing to take away from that is spend 99 cents a day. Uh, I will show you guys, because some people still pop into my Discord and say, where do I spend 99 cents a day? I don't see that. Okay, here we go. So you're going to actually go to this window. So you're going to go to the store. Store. Then you're going to go to Special Pack. So these are the expensive ones. Five bucks, five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Well, that was a commercial back in the day. Uh, you're going to come up here. You're going to click on basic. And then, of course, my camera is in the wrong place. Right there. This is the what I'm going to buy every day for the next seven days in order to get the 30 red runes and the extra rusted gears. Uh, 99 cents right there. Click it, buy it. This is one of the only things I will always recommend to actually spend on in this game because $7 for 30 red runes is a, an insane deal compared to uh, how other stuff is priced in this game. So that's all that. Uh, all right. So then. Then. Oh, wait. Oh, pre project premium development. Boo. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. No. Stay away. Stay away. Danger, Will Robinson. How dare you? How dare you? That one's that one's awful. Uh, but if you are a big spender, okay, go ahead. You know, do whatever you want. A new Ghost in the Shell 2045 collaboration event, the Soul Incursion, will open on again all servers. Okay, so here's the good stuff. So open on the first day of the event. The Collab Story Challenge, Chapter 1 to 2. So that is open uh, for the first week. And then on the 8th day, on the 8th day, so this would be a week from tomorrow, the Collab Story Challenge, Chapter 3 opens. So there's looks like there's three chapters just this first two weeks. There's probably going to be Chapter 4, 5, and 6 uh, in two weeks' time when we get the other two Time Traveler Heroes. So, a story mode challenge. So, I don't know what this is going to be like. I don't know how they're going to structure this. If it's going to be like Rise of Heroes kind of story, which that did. If you guys actually walked through and read all of the dialogue on each stage, it did tell a story. That is probably going to be more likely. It is probably going to be a Rise of Heroes type story path. 
So three chapters for the first for these next two weeks. You get one to two tomorrow, and then chapter three next Thursday. You can get the collab hero Batu for free after finishing the collab story challenge number two. So you could probably get this guy tomorrow, depending on how easy these challenge modes are. <coughs> I guarantee you they are going to be mind numbingly easy because this event is open for all servers, including day one, day one servers, like first day, day one, week one servers. They're going to get to do this. So this story is purely going to be zero challenge for anybody with that's been playing this game for more than a month, which is unfortunate. It's too bad it doesn't scale in difficulty with the age of your account because they know how old your account is or if it scales in difficulty based on server. So uh, I think this is cool, but I think that it's just going to be click, 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 click. Give me my bot to carry on. Unfortunately, I really wanted something cool. Um, Cutscenes. That's cool. Hopefully, please. There's cutscenes in between every three fights or something. I don't know. Probably not. But, you know, I like to I like to have some wishful thinking. So number two. Added a new world boss. So Sight Nightmare. Sight Nightmare. So is is the boss named Sight and the difficulty Nightmare? Or is this finally Nightmare from all of your promotional material? You know the one that looks like an alien xenomorph? That Nightmare? Is it that guy finally? Are we finally going to get Nightmare in game? So this is a world boss. So you will work together with players from different servers to challenge Sight. Okay, so it's Sight. So different servers. It's probably going to be your Summit Arena server bracket, right? We They already have that built-in game, that mechanic, or Guild Cluster brackets, which has three stages. After each stage is defeated, it will transform into the next stage. Then you will face more challenging battles. Each challenge stage will activate a new server-wide buff to help you gain an advantage in site battles. This event will record your contributions and give out generous rewards based on your contribution ranking. So, luckily, I'm on server 28. Am I 28? Yeah, I think I'm on 28. 28 or 24. I think, I think I'm on 24. So, luckily, there's a lot of good um, active high high account like big accounts on my on my server alone and in my summit arena bracket so i don't foresee this being a problem for me if you were in na servers one to ten i know there's still some big krakens in there i'm looking at you kazdan but i know the population on that little island is dwindling and is dwindling quickly so not only will you get, will you have to work with uh, people on your server clusters to beat this bad boy, um, but it is going to be kind of like an endless battle event where you're going for the high score. What's interesting is, it, is I, I'm thinking you're going for the high score across all of the server clusters. So normally I'm used to getting first on my server, but I know there are people way bigger than me in the server cluster. And there's a lot of Krakens in my server cluster that are probably going to buy these heroes because I do believe the Time Traveler heroes score bonus points in this game mode. Like Endless Battles. So this event is open the whole month. So all four weeks. All four weeks. Well, I don't think it's going to take us long to get through the first three or these first three stages. And then is it going to be like Endless Battles where you get a payout every two days? That'd be nice. Are we going to get a currency from this? How is this going to work? I guess we'll find out tomorrow. When is the final payout going to be? Is it going to be... Oh, hello, puppy. Is it going to be on October 26th? Or hopefully we get little mini payouts all the way through. So that is kind of everything that's coming tomorrow for content. Now, this is just quality of life game tweaks so they're optimizing the equipment system um, they're making a way for you to disassemble gear more easily added a function to batch disassemble legendary equipment so instead of going into disassemble 
and clicking I want to disassemble all of my D rated gear. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to set a filter to just always disassemble a D rated gear of such and such and such a, uh, of a uh, gear type because that would help people that suffer from bag space management. This would help them because it's just going to automatically disassemble it. They're not going to have to go in every four days and dis manually disassemble. So they're just doing this. They're, they they've been rolling out this this new gear filtering, gear quality of life stuff for the last two months. This is just adding to that. Added new options to yeah automatically disassemble legendary equipment. I'm I'm sure you can assign a filter and it's just going to automatically disassemble it. Added an option to automatically disassemble ledger equipment according to its equipment rating. So there we go. What I just said. That's perfect. I'm probably going to do that. Now, keep in mind that there is some D gear that you probably don't want to disassemble. I'm thinking like um, crit rate. Not crit rate surge gloves. What do I want sometimes? Crit rate charge gloves. Uh, whatever. Some, some gloves don't classify like crit rate main stats as being important when they always are, if you get a crit rate main stat glove. Uh, optimize the commander system. The level cap of red commanders is now extended to 100. That is a jump. So uh, during this upgrade process, from level 51 to level to 100, you're basically just getting stats. You're not getting any more hero bonuses. You're not getting any more... Um, uh, hey, shush. Shush. You hear her whining over here? So it's just the level going up in increments of five, I do believe. And you're going to get stats along the way. So hopefully you have a whole lot of, of extra commanders just lying around. So like it says right here, no new attribute slots are unlocked. Only the commander attributes will be added. Commander attributes being commander stats. The flat stats. So if we just go to game, give you guys a visual representation. We go to command post. So like this, yeah, I know. This account doesn't have any level 50s. But I probably have enough to take them to level 50. Maybe I should do that after this. So you're not getting any more of this stuff that's kind of under my head. You're getting this stuff up top here. This is what's going to upgrade. But that those are good stats. You know, that's good stuff. And if, if we're just doubling that, that's an extra, like, what, 5,000 attack? Just bang onto your stats. Uh, so the promotion occurs every five levels. It requires a large amount of same mythic commanders. So to go from 45 to 50 is 10. You need 10 extra copies. Yeah, it, you're gonna, this is gonna take you a while. This is gonna take you a while. Uh, the ordinary, just the level upgrade is just your medals of honor and gold, just the same as it always has been. Added new trophies. So a couple new trophies. We don't know how we're going to get them yet, but I do believe it's uh, the moderators have said that this is going to be coming from, or one of them is going to be coming from the show. Oh yeah, right there. You can get it from the collab exchange shop. So this mysterious wine bottle, which how, that's not really original. A wine bottle, really? Okay. All heroes gain 4% uh, HP and public security section nine heroes. That's the time traveler heroes. If you didn't know, all these heroes were part of a, a police division called Section 9. I don't know why they just didn't say, and Time Traveler heroes receive three times the bonus. So an extra 12% HP. It's just HP. And that goes on to your base stats. That's not your total stats. So this one, the wine bottle, you can get from the collab event exchange shop. So we are getting a currency of some kind from the collab event. And I'm assuming this is meaning the world boss battle, because that sounds like the other than the story mode, which maybe we get stuff from both. And then the site core in guild modes. So guild hunt. That's the only guild mode. Guild hunt. In guild hunt. It, just come on. Just fix guild versus guild. You know, I know you said you weren't going to give it to us, but come on. Give it to us. So in guild versus guild... Allied heroes gain 10% attack and HP, which is fine. It's just a PvP bump, but only in Guild Hunt. So this one you can get from the Stage 3, that's of the World Boss, leaderboard reward of the collab event. Don't know how many people can get it, um, but if it's uh, maybe top 20, 
maybe we'll see but that one i could see being useful even though like i know our guild we're, we're basically doing we're i think we get down like stage 16 in guild hunt in the first day so yeah this one not so important for us but for a lot of guilds that are maybe on the cusp of getting stage 18 or level 18 turbine down this one's for you uh, and then one bug fix one fix the issue of incomplete display of recommended content for some hero strategies don't care don't care okay all right so my initial impression after reading that is i wanted more thank you for giving us all this but basically when i wake up tomorrow what am i going to be able to do what am what content are we getting we're getting the new the new first two chapters of the new story mode the collab story mode which is going to be so easy that uh, i'm probably going to fall asleep when doing it i hope not but it, since it's open on all servers it's going to be very very easy we're getting the new world boss which we can probably only hit twice a day maybe once a day we'll see so that's going to take 10 minutes unless you want to reset because you're probably going to want to reset or maybe it's like endless battles and it's going to go with your best score for the day and then you can just do it over and over and over again i really hope that that is how it's done because if i only get two shots at this a day and since it's a leaderboard i want to be able to take multiple shots at it without having to reset start over just let me run run it through see what happens so we're getting the new world boss we're getting the new story mode and then we're getting basically a reskinned mirror of reformation to pull to get the new heroes we're getting two new trophies that are coming from these events we're gonna have a shop so we're gonna so who knows what the rewards are gonna be uh or what the currencies we're gonna get or how we're gonna get them how much of that how much of them we're gonna get we'll find out tomorrow but this normally like i said normally we'd have twilight lands tomorrow and that takes me what two hours two hours ish hour and a half to blow through pretty easily um i'm hoping this uh, it, it at least keeps me busy adds another 20 minutes to my day because i want some more stuff to do because right now my main account i can blast through all the content on my main account when i wake up in the morning in 30 minutes it's unless there's like an endless battle where you got to go and go and go and go and go and go in basically basically 30 minutes so ladies and gentlemen that is the tldr on the patch notes for the long anticipated collaboration event with ghost and shell 2045 tell me what you think down in the comment section below key word or key phrase of the day is going to be well let's just say collab c-o-l-l-a-b put that down in the comment section below i'll know you made it to the end of this video and i will give you a nice little heart on your comment i read all the comments all my links are below check them out Stay tuned for a plethora of videos, although I am working tomorrow. So the videos for the collab event from me are likely going to be released around the same time that this video is being released to you tonight. Okay, so I, I got to work. I, I, I got a demanding day job. I do this just for poops and giggles. So collab down in the comments. That's the word of the day. Tell me what you think of the patch notes. Are you disappointed? Please just let me know. And I'll catch you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, peace. Bye-bye.